Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Okay, nice. Good evening. Welcome. I'm on time today. So I'm sorry that I'm without the camera, but I have an inconvenience today with the connection. So I'm basically on my uh, neighbor's house. So that's why I won't be able to activate the camera because of some inconvenience that I have with the internet connection at home, but I'm here, okay? So we are going to have the class, but I will be, you know, without camera just for today, okay? So I'm sorry, and I do apologize for this, but I, as I told you, it's not something that it's on my hands right now. So I'm basically next to, <laughs> next to my home. And I will be here with you guys. Okay? So I appreciate that you are on time and also appreciate that you have your cameras. We are about to start. But let's wait a few, a few seconds while we wait for the rest of the classmates because we are just like seven participants right now. Okay, so Josue, thank you for your camera. Uh, Oscar Davy as well, appreciate that you have your camera on. And let's wait for the rest. Please turn on your cameras. And uh, we are going to start with the attendance, okay? Okay, so let's see, my goodness. Hoy sí que se les ha pegado la cobija, quizás because of the weekend, right? Okay, Andrea Esmeralda, no problem. Thank you for your camera, Mayra Siomara. And let's see who is connecting. Elba Esmeralda, it's connecting the audio. So nice, let's start. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed your weekend and I hope that you did uh, something special, okay? Um, during the meantime that we are waiting for the rest of the classmates, okay, to join the meeting. I would like to mention that today we received different messages, right, on the WhatsApp group. I don't know if you realize that we have a couple of messages in the WhatsApp group, right? So for example, they were asking for the comprobante de manual. So at this point, the idea is that you need to send that info right through email uh, in the way that they, um, in the day that they want, um, they want it, right? So espero que si todos ya hayan enviado Eh, su comprobante de, del manual, ahí lo enviaron la recorda, el recordatorio prácticamente este día. Eh, otro detalle importante que hemos recibido este día en el grupo de WhatsApp es um, en relación al trabajo de la plataforma. So today we are in the unit, uh, in the week number two. So, prácticamente ahora estamos iniciando la unidad 2, ¿ok? Y ahí nos enviaron que durante la unidad 2, eh, usted va a trabajar la sección 3 de la plataforma y el examen de mitad de curso, right? El midterm exam, que es prácticamente la mitad del módulo. ¿Ok? So, entonces, esa información se nos compartió ahora en el grupo de um, WhatsApp, ¿ok? Si usted no ha enviado 
el comprobante de ese manual, por favor, hacerlo en estos días porque ahí nos enviaron el recordatorio que hay que imprimir, firmar y ahí está la indicación cómo lo va a enviar. Y vamos a trabajar esta semana en la sección 3 y hasta el midterm exam, right? So ya usted sabe que lo de la plataforma no es negociable, right? So we need to do it, we need to do it uh, on time. So no esperemos llegar allá al jueves, al viernes, que me estén ahí eh, recordando, mire la plataforma, ya nosotros ya sabemos, ok, ya sabemos que eh, hay que trabajar en la plataforma, ok. Eh, bien, para los que van ingresando, comentaba al inicio que tengo un pequeño inconveniente eh, con la conexión de internet de mi casa, pues por algún motivo no funciona el internet. Entonces me he tenido que mover prácticamente a, a la casa del vecino. Entonces estoy eh, prácticamente en la terraza, ¿verdad? Una parte acá de usurpando un, un, una casa del vecino. Entonces por tal motivo, ¿verdad? No, no voy a poner mi cámara, pero probablemente la voy a poner ahí para que medio vean que no les estoy mintiendo. Miren, estoy literalmente en la calle, entonces, por tal motivo, ¿verdad? Estoy usando internet prestado, pero sí necesitaba estar acá con ustedes. Entonces, si escuchan pasar ahí algún vehículo como ese, ¿verdad? Este, sepan que, pues, lamentablemente no estoy dentro de mi casa, ¿ok? So, but anyway, we are going to do the class, ¿ok? We are going to have the class and we are going to do our best, ¿ok? So, uh, we are going to start with the attendance, ¿ok? So, you know that every single day we need to pass the attendance, ¿ok? So, attendance is very important, ¿ok? Así como usted va trabajando la plataforma y es el pase para usted en el siguiente módulo, igual, la asistencia le va a dar el pase al módulo siguiente, ¿ok? Si no completa el 80% de asistencia, pues usted sabe que eh, corre el peligro, el riesgo de no llegar al límite, ¿verdad? Al mínimo que ellos piden. Ok, so I hope that uh, you enjoyed your weekend, ok, I guess you did something special, something different, something funny, something to relax, ok. So today it's Monday, I know it's Monday, it's not easy, but it is, ok, we already survived Monday day, so it's just a couple of minutes that we are going to be here in the class and then you will be free. Okay, so let's see, Josué Natanael, you were on time, so how are you? Mm, I'm normal, neither happy nor sad. Okay, that's like a 50 and 50, like so-so. Have you ever heard that expression? More or less, as <laughs> Salvadorian words can be more or less, más o menos, right? So, so-so means de voladas, right? So that's like Salvadorian expressions, right? So that's the way we say it. So, Josué. I'm so, uh, so. So, so. That would be nice, okay? Natanael. What about you, Oscar Davis? So, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm under the weather, teacher. My I, goodness. <laughs> Why? Uh, I feel horrible. Oh my God, are you sick? I, I'm a flu. Okay. You have a headache. Throat. Oh my goodness. So I guess that is like the, you know, it's like the sickness that everyone is like having right now, right? So a lot of people is sick right now, probably because of the weather change, right? So probably okay oscar but appreciate that you are in the class even though you don't feel well so that's nice so then the rest please turn on your cameras just because the teacher is without the camera that doesn't mean that you will be without camera i want to see all of you okay 
So try to turn on your camera and uh, we are going to uh, start, okay? Let's see, Maida Xiomara, you were on time as well. So how are you, Maida Xiomara? Hi, I'm fine. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. And I see that you are fine, ready for the class. What about you, Jancy Carolina? How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm fine. Very good. Okay. Very good, very nice, ready for the class. Nice. Uh, let's see, Saul de Jesus, tell us what day it's today, Saul. What day it's today? Good evening, teacher. Um, good evening. Well, it's only um, very confused in this class. You feel confused? Why, yeah. Saul? My goodness, relax. Yeah, thank you. Okay, but you are okay with the platform, right? Saul, you are working very nice in the platform. Okay. Okay, so no problem. So we are in the process, okay? We are in the uh, the beginning of everything. So remember, it starts something, it's not easy. Okay, it's todo al inicio cuesta, but then, so we will be, you know, feeling better. Okay, Saul, don't worry. Yeah, right, thank you. Nice. Let's see, Iliana, Elizabeth, Iliana, what day is today? What day is today? Hello. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. What day is good today? Good evening. Um, it's um, Monday. Perfect. Yeah, today it's Monday. Very nice. And um, let's see, Raquel Sarai. Now that we know that it's Monday, so tell us the date. What date? It's what's today date? Good evening. Good evening. Today is Monday, 29th May uh, 2023. Perfect, yeah, there you go. Okay, today it's Monday, May the 29th, the age, right? 29th, uh, 2023 or 2023, it's okay. Okay, nice, let's start. So one more time, remember, eh, si no ha enviado comprobante de manual, tiene que enviarlo. Esta semana vamos a trabajar sección 3 y examen de mitad de módulo in la plataforma. So that is the commercial that we have, okay? We received that info today in the WhatsApp group. So right now I'm going to pass the attendance, okay? Please let me know if you are here. So let's see, Alison and Stephanie. Present. Nice, Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Nice, Diana Cristabel. Cristabel is not here. Let's see, now we have Elba Esmeralda. Present teacher. Nice, miss. Um, Gerardo Jose. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, then we have Hilda Karina. Hilda Karina is not here. Then we have Iliana Elizabeth. Present. Nice, Iliana, thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Esmeralda. I'm here. Nice. Then we have Jose Pedro. Present teacher. Nice. Jocelyn Esmeralda. Perdón, Jocelyn Esmeralda ya la había mencionado. Jocelyn, oh, es, do we have two, right? Jocelyn Esmeralda Rodríguez. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rodríguez no está. Eh, then we have Josué Natanael. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Penexa. 
Present teacher. Nice, Carla. Then we have um, Katy Jordana. Present teacher. Nice, thank you. Larissa Tatiana. Larissa Tatiana is not here. Uh, Mayra Xiomara. Present. Okay, Mayra Xiomara, thank you. Mirna Elizabeth. Mirna Elizabeth, no. Eh, Oscar Davy. Present, Mirna Elizabeth. Thank you, Mirna. My goodness. Ya le pusimos ahí. Nice, Oscar. Eh, Raquel Saray. Present. Nice. Eh, then we have Saul de Jesus. It's here. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Eh, Cindy Carolina. No, Cindy Carolina no está. Eh, Sofía Stephanie. Here, coach. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Wendy Gabriela. Present. Nice, Gabby. Then, Jancy Carolina. Present. Nice, Jancy. Eh, Ricardo Antonio. Ricardo. Here. Okay, mm -hmm. nice, Ricardo. Um, that's it. So we have the, the attendance right now. So you know that we are going to uh, validate the attendance one more time at the end, right? So let me uh, share the screen right here. And we are going to continue with the manual that we have, you know, the classes that we have. And uh, we finished that part, right? So remember that we are talking about... Um, details that are for future right so the future would uh, be going to okay so we are going to continue where we stop and i guess that was right here okay uh, we are going to have this conversation first and then we will see the wh questions okay so i'm going to read just one time okay the name of the conversation says have a good Valentine's Day. Okay, it says, uh, this is uh, between Mona and Taylor, right? I guess that we read it, okay? But I don't know if we practice uh, this conversation. Pero sí creo que ya la habíamos leído, right? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, okay, just let me check right here. Uh -huh. Where is the group? Okay, we have the group right here. Um, yeah, we have the, I already shared with you some WH questions. So that's that, the, this conversation, that was the, the, the audio, right? The one that we record. So I guess that we start right here, the WH questions. Uh, let's see, Jancy Carolina, tell me the WH questions the, the WH question that you remember. I already shared with you a couple of pictures, right? About the most common ones. So let's see, which one did you remember? Teacher, the, um, this, uh, ya lo hicimos. Yeah, we did it, we did it. I already shared with we, you. But we, do, we did it. Yeah, we ah. did it, okay? That's that's ah. why I move on, okay? Because yeah. the conversation was the audio, right? Did yeah. you remember that we record the audio? So right now we are on the WH questions with be going to, but now my question is, I guess it was, a quien le, le pregunté? Jancy Carolina, oh, that was you. I don't remember who said. Quién le iba estaba preguntando, pero bueno. Uh, let's see, Raquel Saray, tell us any WH question that you remember. Uh, sentences. 
Okay, but mention the WH and then give me an example. Give me a question using the WH question. Okay, what are you going to eat? Okay, what are you going to eat? So what is the WH question, right? What are you going to eat for Christmas? Oh, I'm going to eat um, chicken, okay? Or salad or beef, right? So that is nice. Let's see, um, Elba Esmeralda, tell us which WH question did you remember and also the example? Where are you going to go for the vacation? Okay, where are you going to go, go for ba okay. the vacation? For vacation, okay, for where vacation. are you going to go for vacations, okay? So, those are the WH questions, right? Recuerdo que ahí les envié unas imágenes donde eh, ustedes prácticamente pudieron ver los, los WH questions que tenemos, right? So, we are going to continue, okay? The time expressions, I don't know if I mentioned to you, but the time expressions are very important depending on the time, right? The time that we are using in this case, if we are talking about futures, so the time expression should be in future, right? No hay forma de que en la que yo voy a estar hablando en pasado si el tiempo gramatical que yo estoy estudiando es futuro, right? So these ones are time expressions that we can use for future, right? Tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, next week, next month, next summer, next year, okay? Uh, those are, okay? Keep in mind, right? These time expressions that you can use, okay? So we have right here this activity, but we are going to skip it because it's not something that we need to master, okay? We better go to the grammar parts, okay? The important things that you are um, doing in the platform, okay? So we are going to complete the reading part, okay? We have these four paragraphs and the name of the paragraphs are, uh, what are you going to do on your birthday, okay? What are you going to do on your birthday? So I guess this part we read it as well, right? So we read it. So did you study the body parts? Se acuerdan de las body parts que vimos la semana pasada? Yes. Okay, are you able to write it down? Estudió la escritura para ver cómo se escriben las body parts. Hacemos un dictadito. Saca todas las palabras buenas. Hacemos la prueba. Hoy porque no hay cámara. No me pueden ver. ¿no? ¿Por qué? Mañana, mañana será el día. Mañana le vamos a dictar un par de palabras. Porque pueda que yo diga, ah, sí, yo me las puedo. Pero la pronuncia, la escribe, la entiende, la lee. That's the way that you will know, right? If you really know the the words, okay? So, um, let's see. I feel homesick. This is the conversation, I feel homesick. So, what did you get? What, they, what is the idea that you get with this expression if I say, I feel homesick? For example, Oscar Davy can say right here, I feel homesick. So, did you get the meaning? Did, did you get the idea? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, de gustado, de gustado. Like something like that, right? So that's the way that we say it in Spanish. Se siente enfermo. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto, right? No me siento bien, dice la, la gente. Está de gusto. <laughs> okay, está de gusto. So that would be like homesick, right? That you don't feel like very good, that you feel like not extremely sick but you don't feel so well, okay? So um, this conversation, we, we are going to practice, okay? So this is a conversation between Brian and 
Kinichi, right? So the conversation says, hey, Kinichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. I have a bad cheek. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick from Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help you. Uh, let's have a lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thank you, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any new word right here? Habrá alguna palabra que usted no la conozca? No. Did you get the everything Did you, from the how comment? How do you pronounce back hat, uh, back hat? That would be bad sheet. So that would be dolor de espalda. Dolor de espalda. Okay. So that would be. Let me see right here. Okay. Dolor de espalda. So that would be headache. Dolor de cabeza. Uh, sore throat. Dolor de garganta. Todo. Más adelante creo que viene una parte de, de enfermedades donde va a aprender usted hasta las medicinas, right? Como decirla. Uh, aspirin and everything, right? So, but right here it's a bad cheek, okay? Me duele la espalda, la rabadilla. Okay. Okay, la columna, right? So, la espalda. Em, did you get the meaning of flu? Oscar mentioned today at the beginning that he has the flu, right? So, how do you know how do you say mocoso? Uno dice, ay, que ando bien mocoso, dice. Ando una gran gripe, bien mocoso. So, how would you say mocoso in English? Flu. flu es gripe, ok, tengo gripe, pero usted me quiere decir que está mocoso, ¿verdad? Así como, más que gripe, pues que ya no aguanta. Do you know how to say that in English? Cold, teacher. Cold, that would be resfriado, así como que usted le quiere dar fever, ok, es como acalenturiado. Usted me dice, I feel cold, ok, me siento así como con temperatura, right? O me dice directamente, I have fever, tengo fiebre. But if you want to say that you are mocoso, any idea? No, nadie sabe, nadie supo. So that's an easy, an easy expression. You can say, I have a... I have a running nose. Así dicen ellos. A running nose. Y usted hace la traducción, dice, una nariz corriendo, dice usted, pero como no es translation like that we have, we need to understand the content, right? So it can be running nose. Okay? That would be eh, mocoso, ¿verdad? Mocoso, así que ya. No detiene la gripe, right? So, runny nose. Uh, nice. So, we are going to practice, okay, just a couple of you because of the time. Uh, let's see, Andrea Esmeralda. Please be Kenichi. And Sophia Stephanie, be Brian, please, okay? Make sure that you use the correct pronunciation and the intonation, right? Okay. Hey, Reni Kenichi, how are you? Can you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a hip pitch and back back pitch and a back pitch. Maybe you have a the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's bad, but maybe I can help 
let's have a lunch at the at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel very already. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Um, just keep in mind, right? So in Spanish, we are really fat, flat. Así decimos nosotros en, en español. Eh, que el español es bien plano. Si usted traduce flat, right? So it is a question and we didn't sound like a question, right? But in English, we need to. We need to say, hey, how are you? Okay. So what's the matter? Why? We have a question mark right here. Why? So in English, it's very important. Okay. It's very important. In Spanish, nosotros casi nunca tenemos un signo de exclamación. Nos lo comemos. O sea, en español, usted pone, hey, qué bien. No pone ninguna exclamation, right? Así de admiración, de milagro. A veces usamos el signo de pregunta, right? So, but in English, it's very important. They do have a lot of uh, punctuation, right? And we need to sounds with the, the way that the punctuation it is, right? I feel better already, okay? I feel better already. Usted escucha a él, un nativo inglés hablando y lo escucha usted como bien, como emocionado. So ellos ocupan mucho cambio de, um, como de entonación, para lo que nosotros decimos entonación, ¿verdad? En español, ah, viera qué feliz estoy, dice, pero no suena nada de feliz, right? But in English they say, oh my God, I'm so happy. So, you see, that's a, a big difference, right? So, because of the time, we have time just for one more couple, okay? So, Saúl de Jesús, please uh, be uh, Priam. And let's see, um, Mayra Xiomara, be... Um, Quiero ver, Mayra Xiomara, ya le pregunté, ¿verdad? Eh, vamos a ver. Es que no, no hay cámaras aquí, no sé quién más. Ya todos los que tienen cámara ya les pregunté. Bueno, mi modo. Esmeralda, Elba, usted que la acaba de activar y la desactivó. <ríe> Le va a tocar ser uh, a okay. Kinichi. Okay? ok, so go ahead, please. Try to do your best. Work. Ok. Where's Brian? Um, you are Brian and um, Saul will be Kinichi. Oh, ok. Hey Kenichi, how are you? Uh, continue, Saul de Jesus. Baje de volumen. You are on mute, Saul. Saul, sorry, you are on mute. Te ayudo yo. Yeah. Eh... I am Kenichi. Is correct, mm -hmm. teacher? Continue. I'm sorry, Saul. Oh. You are Kenichi. The yeah, second okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, I not someone good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a uh, headache and back. Uh, maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel I'm letting uh, honesty for jumping. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That, that's right, either. Thank bright. I feel better ready. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Uh, actually, okay, so actually, actually, I'm not so good actually, right? It, why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache, okay? So remember, we have a coma, we need to stop a little bit, right? So if we have a period, we need to stop a little bit more. Okay, so homesick, Japan, Japan. 
help. I can help. I can help. Uh, restaurant. Okay, so restaurant. And already, I feel better already. Idea, idea. Okay, so we have like the Spanish right there. But this is idea. Okay, that's a great idea. Uh, thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so we have something very simple right here that it's the have plus noun and feel plus adjective. Okay, so this is like an instruction, the uh, structure that we have right here. Look, we have the like the question from the unit, the name of the unit. What's the matter? What's wrong? How are you? How do you feel? So this. Uh, four questions are like similar questions. Creo que el segundo día de clases le hice varias preguntitas que viene dando lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ya solo decir ahí, how are you, how are you, es como ya rayado, o sea, no, se puede, depende de la confianza, right? Because this is, what's the matter, es como, hey, ¿cómo está, verdad? Si una manera más informal, okay? What's wrong, how are you, and how do you feel es más polite, más eh, educado, ok, pero usted a un amigo, un chero como dice, le puede decir hey, what's the matter, what's wrong, ok ya una persona que usted no conoce, su jefe, una persona de respeto, how are you, how do you feel, but the questions are exactly the same yo le estoy haciendo la misma pregunta pero en diferente forma, diferente eh, manera hablando educadamente, right? So now we have right here, I have a headache, I have a back I have the flu, I feel homesick, I feel better, I don't feel well. So those are like different ways for you to answer that question. Adjectives, we have negative and positive adjectives. So do you know what is an adjective? Cuando decimos adjective, do you know what is an adjective? Esto lo vieron allá como en tercero o cuarto grado cuando usted estudiaba, que le enseñaron los adjetivos, ¿se acuerdan? We can use adjective for describe uh, feel. Perfect. And this, describe a noun, describe a noun, Larissa. Very nice. That's the idea, right? Allá le enseñaron a usted el adjetivo, es la palabra que describe al nombre, right? So, that is an adjective in English as well. So the adjective, it's a word that describes the noun. ¿Quién es el noun? El nombre, la cosa, el objeto, el animal, la persona, de lo que sea que se esté hablando, right? So an easy example, that would be the red car. So red, it's the adjective for the car. The pretty lady. So pretty, it's the adjective for the lady. Uh, intelligent intelligent students, right? So intelligent is the adjective for the students, right? So right here, the book uh, classify the adjectives into uh, positive and negatives, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, Raquel Sarai, help us, please read the negative adjectives that we have right here. Okay, sick. Awful, terrible, miserable. Okay, very nice, uh, Raquel. So this one, it says negative, right? So, so me dice, I feel sick. So I would say, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, right? So that's a negative adjective. So I feel awful, awful. So what is the meaning of awful? Awful. Mm -hmm. Did you know what is the meaning of that word awful? Alguien? Yeah. Sabe y si no busquenlo, mañana le vamos a preguntar, investigue. So what is the meaning of awful? Um, apenado, incómodo. Es horrible. There you go, así, así, más que apenado, Esmeralda. Espantoso, terrible, horrible, así dice uno. Ay, la comida estaba horrible, right? So, algo que no le gustó. Ay, esa, ¿qué? Esa 
fiesta, lo que sea, cuando uno se refiere a algo, right? So awful, terrible, o así horrible, feo, okay? So then we have terrible, terrible, and we have miserable, miserable, okay? Miserable, that would be a negative adjective. So those, the translation is exactly like this, almost the same as the way it is writing, right? So now we have positive adjectives. Let's see, Larissa, Tatiana, help us. Please uh, read the positive adjectives that we have. Okay. Positive adjectives. Fine. Wait. Terrific. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Larissa. So fine. I'm fine, right? So the easy one. So great. Great. La respuesta que yo les he mencionado que usted puede decir, hey, I, I feel great. Okay, I feel great. So that would be um, something positive, right? So let's see the other one. It says right here, uh, terrific. So what is the meaning of the word terrific? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa terrific? Terrorífico. No. Um, fantástico. No. fantástico. There, there you go. There you go. Remember, these ones are positive. Nosotros vemos ahí terrific y yo digo terrífico. Mm -hmm. Porque lo, creo que lo estoy leyendo en español, right? But if es you get the... There you go. This one is a positive. Fantástico. Okay. A terrific means genial, estupendo. Ok, es positivo. Si yo le digo, hey, the food was terrific. No vaya a decir que yo estoy diciendo que la comida estaba terrible. No, estoy diciendo que la comida estaba fantástica, fabulosa, espectacular. So, terrific. Ok, terrible, terrific. Mire, no es lo mismo. Terrible, terrific. Ok, so keep in mind, a veces uno malentiende. Ay, es que el profesor me dijo que yo lo había hecho terrible, dice, que yo leí terrible, dice. No, le dijo terrific, that means amazing, ok. So fantástico, genial, sorprendente, ok. A veces le digo mañana, hey, you are doing terrific, va a sentir mal usted. No, this one is positive, okay? And the last one that will be fantastic, right? So like in Spanish, fantastic. So let's move on. Uh, now we have right here some sickness. My goodness, okay? So, mi modo, la, las enfermedades, right? So let's see. Uh, vamos a ver quién me va a ayudar reading. Um, my goodness, no camera, solo porque yo no tengo cámara, no le voy a decir nada, porque no decir ni la maestra tiene, pero ya le dije por qué, y miren aquí, ¿ve? en la oscuridad total estoy, miren ahí, para que vean, me va a salir el león aquí, ok, so that's, that's why, ok, so ahí pasa la gente, so, Nice, but uh, let's see, Ileana, Elizabeth, help us, please read the first uh, two sickness. Okay. Um, but case, mm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem, go ahead. Okay. Eh, no sé si así es la pronunciación. Ok. Back yeah. case. Back shake. Ok. Back so, case. Uh -huh. um, um, ok. Ok. That will be a ear shake. Ok. Remember ear shake. Ear so, shake. Uh -huh. Quiero ponerles aquí el, el audio, pero déjeme ver si esto me deja, porque no me deja cargar aquí. Ajá, let's see. Oscar, David, continue with the other two, please. A headache. A stomachache. Perfect. 
Ok, no sé si logran escuchar acá, ¿no? Sí, como estoy acá en la reunión, se escucha como bien. Back, back cake. Aquí depende, ok. Si ponemos British or American, can be different the pronunciation, right? So, but there, that's the way, ok. So, back shake, it's ok. Ear shake, ok. El dolor de oídos, right? Headache. I have a headache. I have a stomach ache. Esto me voy a salir con estomachache, ok? So that's the way it's right, ok? Estomachache. <laughs> But the pronunciation will be a stomach ache. Ok, I have a stomach ache. Uh, continue. Let's see. Josué Natanael, the next two. Uh, a toothache, a uh, cold. Ok, so I have a tough shake, right? El terrible dolor de muela. And a call. Look, este es, podría ser una call. Sería antes de llegar al flu, right? Antes de llegar a la fever. So it's like the beginning, right? Uh, the next two. Let's see. Saúl, go ahead with the next two. Okay. Uh, call. Uh, fever. Okay, so that would be, I have a coach, okay? The oh. coach, yo sé que usted está con la tos, right? Decimos nosotros, tengo una gran tos, right? So, a coach. And a fever, okay, fever. And let's see, then the flu, uh, sore eyes. So, what would be the sore eyes? ¿Qué es eso de sore eyes? ¿Cómo decimos en español eso? Dolor de ojos, ardor de ojos. Más o menos correcto. Por ahí un malestar en el ojo, right? Vista cansada, dice usted, que me, me arde en los ojos, right? So así decimos, like Salvadorians, right? So es un, un pain, right? Un dolor en la vista. And the last one, that would be a sore throat, okay? Sore throat, that would be dolor de garganta, okay? Dolor de garganta. So we have different sickness that are more, okay? But uh, that's what we have. Um, let's see. We have right here, I have a headache, okay? So we are going to complete this part, even though it's listening, but we are going to uh, try to see the pictures, okay? Where do these people hurt? ¿Qué es hurt? Where do these people hurt? Dolor, herido. Dolor, ok. ¿A dónde? Where? ¿A dónde le duele a estas personas? Right? So, where do these people hurt? It says write down the parts of the body. Ok. Number one is the example. It's Ben. So, Ben, based on the picture, he have a head problem and can be throat. Right? So, can be a a uh, headache and can be a sore throat based on the picture. Let's see, number two, uh, Oscar Davy, what do you think about Allison? What will be the oh, sickness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Okay, yeah, it can be a bad shape, right? So she fell down, ella se cayó. She fell down, so probably she will have a She will have a pain right on the back, so that will be a back shape. Let's see, Larissa, what about uh, Jeffrey? What do you think about him? Um, this, I, uh, I, me, let me help you, let me help you. So we have the sickness right here. <laughs> ah, took, took. Shake. Okay, so tooth yeah, shake. perfect. So probably he has a tooth shape because of the ice cream. Okay, uh, it is an ice cream, right? So because of the ice cream. And the last one, that would be Marta. So Andrea Esmeralda, what do you think about Marta? What do you think that can be her problem?
is is sore eyes. Perfect. Okay. Probably she has right sore eyes because she's working. Right. She's working. Uh, the computer and probably she is really close to the screen, right? Nice. Uh, these expressions look that we have right here. That means empathy. So empatia, right? Cuando alguien le dice, ay, mira, que me duele el pelo, right? So the idea is that you need to say something, right? No es como, ah, y que pues, right? So we normally, we answer, oh, de verdad, mira que lo siento, right? So in this case, we can use this expression. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's too bad. I'm sorry to hear that, okay? So those are expressions that we can use, can be positive or negative, depending on the situation, okay? So let's see. We have a couple of minutes still for the common medication. A clase de medicina, la de ahora, right? So common medication, okay? Por lo menos que aprenda a decir usted dolor de pelo, dolor de lo que sea. Usted me dice, mire, tengo un gran dolor. Usted puede decir, I have a pain, okay? Me duele tal cosa, right? I have a pain on my leg. Me duele una pierna, me duele un brazo. My arm hurts. También me duele el brazo. My arm hurts but also we have right here common medication okay cabal de toda la medicina que usted tiene en la casa right uh it says right here aspirin uh muscle cream antacid so what would be this one usted que sabe de, de medicina cuál es esta Antiacido, okay. So when you have like a uh, something that you eat or something that you don't feel well in your stomachache, right? So you have a stomachache, so you you need to uh, drink antiacid, right? So to help you with like, the uh, like a that would be a hand that would be like a dialcasol, right? So aspirin, so that will be for headache, different pains, muscle cream. We have a coach drops. You know what is drops? That would be like like pills, right? La pastilla, dice uno. Así decimos, right? Pastilla, pills. Okay. So this one that would be the the coach uh, syrup, right? Las gotas. Y hay también en, en pastilla. Y aquí está the peel. Aquí está la, la que yo les digo, the cold peels. Son como las, como le dice una que son? Cápsulas, teacher. Cápsula, cápsula. eso, cápsula. Pero hay otras como, que vienen como en una cosita que se deshace y uno así se lo gel. toma. ¿verdad? Gel, así creo que sí le decimos gel. Right, so that can be peels as well. And eye drops. Esa sería la gota, right? Drops, eye drops, la gota de ojo, lagrimeo. Okay, we have the, the question right here. What medication do you have at home? Sophia, Stephanie, what medications from all of this do you have at home? Um, no sé cómo decirlos en inglés. Let's practice, okay? Try to do it because it's, I know I understand that it's not easy, right? So, but let's see. Uh, for example, this one it's muscle cream, aspirin, uh, coach drops. Uh, we have also the coal peels. Which one do you think that you have at home? Sophie? <laughs> um, aspirin and anti antacid. Antacid, okay. And cold, uh, cold fill, pills, pardon, sorry. And hell caps. Hell caps? Okay, that will be hell caps. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. So normally we have right something at home. So, but don't worry, okay? So we are not gonna be, you know, talking too much about about a sickness and about medication. But it's nice 
if you have an idea at least about like the most important sickness and medication as well. So let's move on. We have a small conversation right here that's called don't worry too hard. Okay, I'm sorry, don't worry. I'm sorry, que estoy un poco blind. Estoy algo lejos de la computer. It says, don't worry too hard. So that's like the advice, right? So look at the picture right here. And uh, this is a conversation between Dr. John and Miss West. And it says right here, hello, Miss West. Uh, how are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? And it's exhausted. Uh, mm, what are you so tired? Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you a few minutes later. Uh, I'm going to give you some pills. Take, take one pill every night after dinner. Okay, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Jam. Nice. Okay, that's an easy conversation between a doctor and the and the um, client in this case, right? So, but that's a nice advice, right? Don't work too hard. So, if you feel like homesick, if you feel like so exhausted, that's the best recommendation from a doctor, right? So they always say. No, no trabaje mucho, duerma bien. Okay, so that's the way that they recommend, right, for a sickness or something, but just we know how difficult it is, right, because we have many, 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 many different activities and responsibilities every day. So let's see, we have three minutes, so we are going to practice just one time this small conversation. Uh, let's see. Um, Davey, please be the Dr. John M. Josue Natanael, be Miss West. Please go ahead. Uh, Oscar Davey, please, you are the doctor. Okay, teacher. Hello, Mr. Wet. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes late. Um, I'm going to give. I'm going to get some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yeah. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Doc. Uh, Doctor Junk. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, I like the way that you pronounced. Okay, just a few words exactly. Okay, so what's wrong exactly? So remember intonation, right? So it sounds like a question, but it's nice, it's nice. So uh, we have one more minute and I have to validate the attendance, okay, before to let you go. So just let me open right here the file one more time. And I'm going to validate just people that was not able to answer at the beginning. So Diana Cristabel. Present. Okay, nice. Now we have Hilda Karina. No. Jocelyn Esmeralda Rodriguez. Larissa Tatiana Orellana. Present. Nice. 
Um, Cindy Carolina. Cindy Carolina. Bien. So, if I don't mention your name, you know that is because I already have your attendance, okay? So, I do apologize because I was without camera the whole class, but I appreciate that you work with your camera, okay? For the ones that were with the camera on, tomorrow we are going to continue. We have exactly the same link, the same time, the same schedule for everything. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Thank you.